Good morning. Welcome to our Friday morning prayers once again. Good to be with you. The sun is shining so I thought I'd come outside and do it. It's uh, quite pleasant this morning. A bit cooler than it has been. Anyway, so we just take a moment to come into his presence. Let's still ourselves, come away from our busy lives and come into his presence. Lord Jesus, we long to meet with you today. We open ourselves to hear what you might say and to be present to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's begin with our prayer of Augustine. Grant me, even me, my dearest Lord, to know you and love you and rejoice in you. Let the love of you grow every day more and more in me, that my joy may be full in you. Our Northumbrian prayer. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek that I might dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. So when I ask a question, if you could respond with the reply after me. Who is it you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. So our psalm this morning is going to be Psalm 143, and our reading is going to continue in 1 John Chapter 4, verses 1 to 21. So Psalm 143. O Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment. For no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in darkness, like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you, my soul thirsts for you like parched land. Answer me quickly, O Lord, my spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I would be like those who go down to the pit. Like the morning, bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, for I hide myself in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. For your name's sake, O Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. 
in your unfailing love silence my enemies destroy all my foes for I am your servant and this psalm of David is asking God to help him to teach him the way of righteousness this is what we all want but uh, we still get things wrong don't we and we need to say sorry when we do so let's have a time of uh, repentance shall we let's just think about the things we've done wrong during the week things that we could have done better maybe the things we've said that we shouldn't have said just, just bring them to the Lord May the power of your love, O Lord, fire in sweet as honey, wean our hearts from all that is under heaven, that we may die for the love of your love, you who are so good as to die for love of our love, that we may live joyfully a life of simplicity and humble service. Let us confess our sins and rejoice in our utter dependence on God. Let's say together. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy forgive what we have been and help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you our God. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Holy Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Isn't that good? Raised to new life in Christ. Hallelujah. What a wonderful God we have. Thank you, Jesus. So our reading from 1 John, chapter 4, verses 1 to 21. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognise the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God, but every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. They are from the world and therefore speak from the viewpoint of the world and the world listens to them. We are from God, and whoever knows God listens to us, but whoever is not from God does not listen to us. This is how we recognise the spirit of truth and the spirit of falsehood. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we love God, but he loved us and sent his Son 
as an atoning sacrifice for, for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and, us, and his love is made complete in, in us. We know that we live in him and he in us, because he has given us his spirit. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. And so we know and rely on the love of God, the, the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence in the day of judgment because in this world we are like him. There is no fear in love but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, yet hates his brother, he is a liar. For anyone who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And he has given us his command, whoever loves God must also love his brother. So, I guess it's all about love then, isn't it? Do we love as we should? Do we love God with all our hearts and souls? John begins this chapter once more, warning about being deceived by false prophets. You can tell who they are because they do not believe or teach that Jesus is from God. Therefore, he isn't the Son of God. These prophets are of the Antichrist, and we must not listen to them, because we know the truth, that Jesus came in the flesh, and he is from God. In believing this, we know that we are children of God. Therefore, we are overcomers, because he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. The world listens to the things of this world and so are taken in by these false prophets. Whoever speaks the things of God will be listened to by God's people. This is how we discern the spirit of truth from the spirit of falsehood. As true disciples and believers in Jesus, we should love one another. This is how we show that we know God and are born of God. Because whoever does not love, they do not know God, because God is love. We know this because he sent his one and only Son into the world to show us how much he loves us. By making him an atoning sacrifice for all our wrongdoing, thus making it possible for us to be forgiven and brought back into a relationship with God. If God so loves us that he has prepared to let his son come and die for us, shouldn't we then be prepared to forgive and love one another? This is how his love is made complete in us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, in God in him. John says, in this way, love is made complete amongst us. This knowledge will give us confidence on the day of judgment because there will be nothing to fear. We will know that we are in God's love. God's love will drive out any fear we have. Fear is associated with punishment. But we are made perfect in love and so 
will not be condemned on the day of judgment. Not that we should take that for granted, I trust to say. Jesus Christ has already atoned for our wrongdoing. We can only love because he first loved us and showed us what love is. Therefore, if we say that we love God, but we do not love our brother or sister, then we don't truly know God. This is our challenge. Yeah, sorry. Because God commands that whoever loves him must also love his brother and sister. Well, well we certainly need God's help for that, don't we? To love each other and to be forgiving and accepting of all our differences. It's quite a challenge for us. To Jesus, we pray that you would help us be aware of how much you love us. Sometimes it's hard to accept that you can love, love us without um, I can't think of the right word, without holding any judgment against us, because we always get things wrong that you see as, us as righteous because you are righteous. So Lord, knowing that how much we have been forgiven on a daily basis, help us to forgive and love our brothers and sisters for we are all one in this world together, trying to do our best, trying to live the life you've called us to. Just give us the strength and the power to do that, Lord, through your Holy Spirit living in us. We pray that in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Shall we move into a time of prayer? God of peace, whose Son, Jesus Christ, returned from the dead to become the great shepherd of your sheep. Guide us into the ways of peace and mercy. Equip us to do everything that is good and build us up to be a holy dwelling place for you, our God. Through the same Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit are one God, now and forever. Amen. So in our prayers, when I say faithful shepherd, if you could respond with, hear us and guide us. Holy Father, empower all whom you have called to be bishops, pastors and teachers to be good shepherds of your flock. Give them wisdom and vision in the leading of your people. We pray for any who are seeking out the straying and the lost, those who are offering new hope and courage to the despairing. Faithful Shepherd, hear us and guide us. Give guidance to all who seek to guide or reconcile others. Protect all who are working with divided peoples, all peacekeeping forces and those who seek to maintain order Direct all who work as Samaritans or in marriage guidance. Faithful Shepherd, hear us and guide us. Surround with your love all who are having difficulties in their relationships. We pray for all who are feeling betrayed or neglected, for all who are suffering from marriage breakdown for children of broken homes or homes of hatred and violence. Faithful Shepherd, hear us and guide us. 
Good Shepherd, be with all who are harassed and helpless, all who feel alienated or hostile, those like sheep without a shepherd. We remember all who have lost their way, all fallen into vice and wickedness, that all may know the love and care of the Good Shepherd. Faithful Shepherd, hear us and guide us. We re rejoice with all who are in the safety of your keeping, in your kingdom, for all the saints in glory. We pray for our loved ones departed, and that we may come to share with them in the eternal life. Faithful Shepherd, hear us and guide us. Shall we join together in the words of the traditional Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. It's good to be with you on a Friday morning. It's good to come into his presence, isn't it? It's the best way to start the day. So let's finish with a blessing. The leading of the Good Shepherd bring you into the ways of peace and light, protect you through the dark valley and keep you in love and life eternal. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Peace to you all. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of the day. I think this is the end of the sunny weather, but uh, so make the most of it. Love to you all. See you at St Barnabas on Sunday, those from St Barnabas. Look forward to seeing you. Love to you all. Bye.